Hey everybody, welcome back to Stack Snacks. I'm John Swicky, and today I'm very excited to talk about a new ChatGPT update that came out last week called uh, Apps. And so now um, I'm inside of my settings in ChatGPT, and we get access to now it's called Apps and Connectors. So now before, if you remember, we had access to some apps that we could use in deep research, but the section got expanded. So now apps are going to be a little bit different than most other things that we've kind of interacted with before. So they got a couple of launch partners, Zillow, Expedia, Coursera, Booking.com. But I enabled three for us to test out today. We got Canva, we got Figma, and we got Spotify. So let's get into it here. So they're available. I tend to use this menu a lot whenever I'm whoop, whenever I kind of want to switch modes or I kind of uh, sometimes pick web search by default. So you got access to these guys down here. So we're going to just click on Spotify here. We're going to say, please make us a playlist about 90s British pop music. So let's see what happens there. So you know with one with integrations like these I think the most important thing is usually kind of speed right so let's see do we get kind of stuck here and just before we started the video I did authenticate with all these apps so I have not tried any of these yet so we'll see okay that's that's taking a long time Maybe we can work on another app while that happens. All right. Let's use Canva. So let's see. Can you can you design a YouTube thumbnail or a video about um, Chat GPT apps? First look. All right. Might as well see if we can get it to make us a thumbnail. All right, now this isn't okay. Connecting to app. Okay, we got a Spotify thing popping up here. Okay, so we're we're in, we're in some business here. I got a link to my my playlist right into my Spotify. It looks like it, you know, I'm getting something an overlay here we can interact with, but it's taken a bit. But let's click on this and see what happens. Okay, so it's going straight into my account. Animate us. Oh, 30, 30 song, 30 song playlist. Okay, cool. Date added, added, added 13 seconds ago. All right, that was pretty cool. Seems like these overlays are not working. Um, which is kind of sucks. It was because wondering, it'd be kind of interesting if we could play the podcast. I mean, pod uh, playlist right in here. That could be kind of cool. Um, all right, now our Canva, our Canva one is moving along. There must be, I mean, this feels very slow. This must not be. Um, all right, let me let me just make sure it's not one of my browser settings here. Okay, I didn't see anything glaring, but we're not getting anything to load here. We're still not getting anything to load here. I guess while that waits, let's try another one. Um, Okay, so Figma's integration is much uh, around uh, their whiteboarding software, so like diagrams and stuff. So let's see. Um, can you draw me a – oh, wait. Let me just call Figma. Yeah, see. I didn't think about this one off the earth. Can you – can you visualize a budget for me? I don't know. Maybe we'll do, you know, I don't know. We'll see what happens. <laughs> um, okay, this is still not going. This is disappointing. Okay, while these run, I'll, let me see if I can figure this out here. Okay, so oh, I 
definitely didn't. Yeah, I don't know why it's still not loading. But I told it to pick one. Yeah, I mean, alright. <laughs> I mean, for without even looking at it, that's not bad. Um, well, that's not bad. Um, alright, it looks like my Figma one timed out. Let's try that one more time. Here, yeah, can you make me a uh, sample organizational chart? That feels like an easy one. There's got to be something going on on the server side to have all these things kind of, kind of, kind of fail on me. Um, so definitely a tough first test. Figma is still going. All right, we'll we'll come back to that in a second. All right, I walked away for a second, and we've got our chart. So it's um, it's kind of a nice inline you know kind of little thing I can interact with apparently I can talk to it okay this is interesting I can edit in Figma I can zoom in in here um, alright let's see if we can do uh, can you make this flatter So if we can kind of edit it on the fly in here while not leaving ChatGPT, this is interesting. Hmm. Can I see? Okay, I'm getting my. Maybe I asked for too much. But this is pretty cool. Whoop. Um, okay, we got a link straight into Figma. Okay, so clearly the servers are getting hammered here. Let's take a look at our other ones. Still not loading. It's still not loading. Um, I mean, I will say this could be very interesting for kind of doing certain types of work and kind of being able to... interact with other things and it's okay it's making a new diagram so like yeah being able to kind of utilize this I guess interface and power to kind of kind of iterate on some stuff and work with people and I mean work with different tools and it's very interesting um, I mean obviously speed's gonna be <laughs> be number one but I think um, you know, being able to pull in a Google Sheet and kind of push and pull and, and do some of that kind of stuff is going to be awesome. Um, so it's definitely going to be interesting to see do developers go to this? Were they a little bit burnt by the custom GPTs that were kind of a flop? Um, I really like that you can kind of. Um, the preview, the kind of preview of the document is really smooth. Um, and then, let's see, do I got to log in? Yeah, and then I kind of popped right in. And I'm not even logged into Figma, so this is nice. And then I can log in if I want, or I can share that. So pretty cool. Oh, and then I got my, my new one already popped up. So we can kind of expand that. Very cool. Um, so yeah, that's a quick look at apps. Um, you know, I think it's going to be really interesting to see. I think, um, if it becomes something we have to remember to add, I think that's going to be not cumbersome, but I think that'll be kind of a, a another step. But if in inside of your chats, if it's just like kind of casually saying hey do you want to push this over to google sheets it's like oh yeah <laughs> you know um so i think there could be really interesting like integrations that they could do with this um and i think too like 
you know, with things like, you know, Canva and Figma, um, you know, being able to, to kind of interact with those tools, I think it's going to be, be really interesting. So I'm excited about it, but still feels very early stages. You know, some of them probably will feel a little gimmicky, but I think this is early stage stuff. And I hope that, uh, hope we see more, you know, more people so we can kind of play around this. Cause like, um, yeah, I think this can open up some interesting doors and does this kind of, you know, keep us all in chat GPT while we're doing our work. So I think that's going to be kind of interesting to see how this develops over the next, you know, three, six months, a year. Um, but thank you guys for checking us out with us. Sorry for the, some of the technical hurdles here, but we got one up and, uh, let us know what you think and, uh, we'll see you next time.